everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys I took a trip over to New Jersey to the big Dollar Tree and I was hoping to find a ton of stuff but I really didn't I mean I got a lot of things but not a ton of new things that I found Although a couple goodies so I thought I would share it with you guys so the first thing I picked up was one of these big party plates that I want to use to put some things on for uh, snacks and whatnot. And I thought these were just really pretty. So I grabbed one of those. And get that out of the way. And then I picked up these. They had these Vlasic Pickles. This is the 16 fluid ounce of the Kosher Dill Stackers. And I've seen other people haul these. This is the first time I found them at our Dollar Tree around here. So I really love these with sandwiches and things and hot dogs and whatever, and they're really good. So I thought that was a good deal, and um, I don't know what the expiration date on these is. Of course, I can't find it now that I'm looking real quick. I see. Oh, here it is. Oh, November of this year. So they'll be gone long before that, so I don't have to worry about that. And they also had the Vlasic uh, Sweet Relish. I was almost out of relish, so I was glad they had this, so I grabbed a jar of this. This is the 10 fluid ounce, and um, these are good until June of 2020. Well, I'm sure we'll be using that by then. And then my husband, he loves jalapeno peppers on everything that he eats, pretty much. So I've never tried these before. I, I don't eat them. Not that I don't like them, they just don't like me. But um, I'm going to see what he thinks of them. And this is the uh, 6.7 fluid ounce. And this is the Breckenridge Farms brand. And a lot of these things don't expire for a really long time. So that's great. These don't expire until 2020 either. So that's good. So I got those for him. And then I picked up another one of the 14 ounce jars of the Francisco Rinaldi pizza sauce because this is, seems to be a favorite now in our house so I try to remember to grab one every time that I go and then some of the stuff's not very exciting but I did get another pack of the two pack of the um, the Brillo basic sponges I love these in the kitchen they last a long time and they're easy to clean you can just toss these in the dishwasher whatever you want with them and I use these in my kitchen all the time I got another one of those, and then I got another pack of the 10 uh, Good Scents. These are the Vanilla Scent 13-gallon um, bags for in the kitchen. I just love these. I just don't even know if it's the bags I love or just the scent that I love to them. But I haven't had any problem with them, and we really load them up, so they work pretty well. And then I grabbed two bags, or two boxes, rather, of the 45 um, sandwich bags. Uh, these aren't the best. I'm not. These aren't my favorites, but I didn't feel like going anywhere else since I was there. I grabbed them, so I got two boxes of those because we were always putting snacks and things in them, and I go through sandwich bags like crazy. And then I picked up another 10-pack of the Ultra Shine uh, dishwashing tablets. These are packs, whatever you want to call them. These work really well. I absolutely love these. Um, my dishes come out sparkling clean, just like it says on the package. And um, yeah, so I've repurchased these quite a few times because I really, really like them. And then I picked up a pack of the vinyl gloves. This is a 10 pack, so there's five pairs in here. And they're one size fits all. I like these for doing some crafting projects or when I'm doing somebody's hair or something with hair dye. These are great. Um, I don't like the what am I trying to say? The other gloves. Latex. There we go. I like the vinyl ones. They don't like suffocate your hands when you're working with them. So, so then I picked up two more of the uh, lasagna pans. These are great. They're two for a dollar. I like to use these for my salads and things in the summer or for making ziti, whatever. So I grabbed a couple more of those while I was there and saw them on the end. And then I actually picked up two of these. These are this is a half gallon, 64 ounces of the Old Orchard iced tea, and it's the lemon, or yeah, lemon flavored. And I got two of them. One I have out in the refrigerator already, and I haven't tried these yet. I'm not sure how they are, but these are good until April of 2019. So I'm gonna. This one just says it's lightly sweet, so I hope so. I don't like them when they're super, super sweet. But I'm gonna give that a try. I haven't tried the Old Orchard brand. 
And then I picked up two more of these mailers. I like these, these little padded mailers. They're a good size for doing some friends mail and stuff. And has everything there lined up for you to write on. So I just grabbed two more of those. And then I got another uh, jar of the uh, foaming hands. I can't think of what I'm saying here today. I'm frazzled. I just got back a little, about maybe a half an hour ago, and I wanted to get this up so I can get everything put away. And so you guys can see if you want to run out and find any of this stuff. Um, but I like this foaming hand soap, so I grabbed another one of those, and the last one I had was, I think, like the fresh scent or something, I don't remember, but I didn't like that as much. I love the pear smelled, um, and these last quite a long time. I mean, I think the one I have out in the kitchen now, I've probably had out there at least over a month, and believe me, I wash my hands a lot. And then I picked up three packs of these baby wipes, and these are the Sesame Street and these says hushables, so they're not flushables. But I got these to keep out by um, where I have my bird cages and stuff. And um, since you can't flush these down the toilet, I thought these would be good. I can just toss these right in the garbage can there and clean up their little messes that they make every now and again. Well, I shouldn't say every now and again, all day long. And it's easier just to grab a wipe and wipe it up real quick. So I thought those would be good for that. And I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to keep one pack in here in my craft room because I also like to use these to um, clean my stamps off after I use them. They work really good for that. So I'm going to tuck one of these right back here behind me so I don't forget. And then those two I'm going to take out in the other room. And then I grabbed this cute little fly swatter. I thought this was just really adorable. Um, I've seen them there before, but I didn't pick one up. And they had some really pretty ones. They had ones with um, sunflowers on them and like more like a a white daisy or something so you know when you're chasing a fly you may as well have a cute little fly swatter to go after them with I guess I don't know but I just needed a, another fly swatter and then I got these two packs of these cute butterflies I thought these were just really pretty I haven't seen I think it's this one I haven't seen before this color with the little um, gems on them and I like these they are a two pack and they have the clips on them and I thought these will be really pretty because before you know it, we're going to be doing fall crafting again. So I figured I'll start getting some of these together. And I thought these would look really pretty with some um, fall flowers and things. So I grabbed them before they're gone. Because that's the way it works at the Dollar Tree. And I've seen a lot of people haul these. This is the first time I've seen them at my Dollar Tree. And these are the little jewelry repair kits. And it has... I mainly wanted it for these little pair of pliers. I mean, how handy will that come in with crafting things? Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to use any of the jewelry things, but I may use some of this stuff on pocket letters and things, these little hooks. So I grabbed that. I'm going to open this up and just see. It says it has one pair of pliers, six lobster claw clasps, 16 disc backs for earrings, rubber backs, and 40 jump rings. So that's a pretty good deal for... You know, even jewelry making, not just repairing. And I really got it stuck. There we go. Let's see what this little guy looks like. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I don't know about the earring backs. I probably won't have any use for those, but these will come in handy. I like the little lobster claw clasps. I just wanted these little pliers. So, well, that was a good deal for a dollar. I'm sure if you tried to buy a pair of tiny pliers, you'd pay a lot more than a dollar for them, like at Michael's or something. And then I picked up a few of these little bags. I thought this was so cute. This is actually a gift card holder. And it looks like a little wicker basket. And it has some silver, you know, stringies going through it. And then it has this, like, feather, brown feathers. I just thought that was such a neat idea. And then it just has a um, little piece of Velcro to hold it closed. Just to put your little gift card in. But I thought, what a cute way to give a gift card. So I, grab, I don't know why I just got one of these. They had them in different colors, too, but this one I liked the best. I just thought it looked, you know, really cute. And then I grabbed one of the um, pineapple little cases. I figured this will be cute for some friend mail and stuff. You can fill it up with some little goodies or something. And these are nice. They're a nice a heavy vinyl. It's not like, you know, some of them are really, you know what I mean, thin and chintzy feeling. And... These are really nice. It has a nice metal zipper, and it's really soft and 
fuzzy on the inside. So I grabbed one of those, and then I found these, and this is like a, um, almost like a canvas feeling material. And I thought that was real pretty. It has a nice pretty design on it. And they're pretty big. I mean, there's nothing fancy on the inside or anything, but that would be nice to stick some things into to send off to someone. So I got one of those. And they did have these, I forget what other one they had, but it wasn't this pretty. It, that was the prettiest one there that I saw. And then finally I found these tote bags. I've seen people hauling these for like a month and a half or more. And I look every time I went to the Dollar Tree, and this is the first time I finally found them, so I grabbed two of them. Just, you know, to carry things around you need to take with you in the summer or whatever. I thought they're so cute. It's got the french fries and the ice cream cones and pizza and cherries and just all kinds of really cute things. There's this ice cream sundae and cupcakes. So yeah, so I grabbed two of those. I figure if I don't get them when I see them, I'll be sorry later. And then I finally found the dream catchers too. I saw Tammy from My World and OKC. She was hauling a bunch of these in all different colors. Um, they did have them in a couple other colors. I think they had blue, and I don't remember what the other one was. But I really liked the pink and the brown flowers together. Oh. See, this is what I get for trying to rush around. They're not flowers, they're feathers. Pink and brown feathers together. And then this is really cute. You could use, I guess you could use it for a keychain if you want to. It's got a little keychain holder on it. But I'm just going to hold this up, or I may gift it, I'm not sure. I think it would look really cute here in my craft room, though. So I think I'll, maybe I'll just hang that up in here. And then I picked up this. This is the first time I've seen these. And these are the little wall hangings. Let me see if I can get that up close enough where you can see it. It's hard to read. It's even hard to read when you're looking right at it. But it says, our family is like branches of a tree. We may grow in different directions, yet our roots remain as one. So I thought that was really cute. And I have a, um, a tree uh, in my living room. It's like a black metal tree, and it has all different size picture frames on it. So I thought this would look really cute with that out there. And someday I'm actually going to get all the grandkids' pictures and stuff in there. Someday. I keep saying that. The thing's been hanging there for two years two or three years and I have one picture in it <clears throat> but we'll get there and then I got this one this one I want to use here in my craft room I got the donut one last week when I went and then this week I saw this one I haven't seen this one at my Dollar Tree before I don't know if you guys have been seeing it but I thought this was really cute it's got ice cream cones and it's got this cute little smiley cupcake and a popsicle and a bunch of hearts and dots and I think they're pretty much the same there's two more cupcakes on this side and then another ice cream. Now they're a little bit different, but they look pretty much the same. Anyway, that's what these guys look like on this side. I think these will look cute. I'm going to hang them on that wall back there behind where my um, donut wall hangings are. Oh, and I did pick up another bag of these. I'm actually hooked on these now. And, uh, I saw these first time on Sheba's Finds and I tried them and I absolutely love them. So this is my second purchase of the Kettle Corners, or the Pop Corners Kettle Corn. They're really good. I love snacking on these. And they're really not that bad. And there's only, it only has four ingredients and that's it. It's yellow corn, sunflower oil, cane sugar, and sea salt. That is it. There's nothing else in here. So I thought that was really good. And they're very, very tasty. So. I'll probably have those gone by this evening. And then this was new that I found. I found this cute little feather. I, it's a pen. And the feather has butterflies printed on it. I mean, it's actually, this was the nicest one I found. A lot of them were all messed up and like pulled apart. But it's actually on a real feather. I thought that was so cool. Yeah. It's a shame. The way they have them displayed, I mean, everybody's digging through them, and you know how what a feather looks like once it starts getting all pulled apart and everything. It's not really pretty. But this one I found that was all intact, and I just thought that was great. I don't know how it writes or anything, but let's see. Here's the paper here. Well, it's fine. It writes fine. It has a very fine point. So I don't know if I will keep that or pass it along. 
but I thought that was super cute. And then I actually found some more pads of paper that I didn't have. These were new to our store. It has the polka dots, and it has some stripes, and then the sprinkles. That's the main reason I wanted this. I love the sprinkle paper. I think that's so cute. And it has a lot of the sprinkle paper. And then I found this one. I like this one too. I haven't seen. This one just has pretty like ombre effect looking paper. Yeah, they're very pretty. It's a purple one, and then there's another rainbow one. What's this one? Oh yeah, and this one's a different, like a sunset. That would look great as a sunset background. So I like those, and then I picked up a pack of these. I didn't have this one. I know these aren't new, but I didn't have these, so I grabbed a, one of these little things. It has all kinds of cute little bugs in it and things. And all these nice shiny like holographic pages. So I thought that was cute. So I grabbed that one and then I got picked up this one. I haven't seen this one before in my Dollar Tree. I don't know if anybody else has seen these. Um, these are the coffee and tea time cakes. Oh, it says it's all, you all know it says I love coffee on the top. So it is coffee and tea. So yeah, I like that a lot. And there's 11 stickers in there. And then I picked up this one with the feathers, and the, it looks sort of like a dream catcher. And it has a cute little elephant. So I grabbed that one, and then this was a new set of the heart ones that I found. And I like these. These are really pretty. And there's 12 in there. And then this one I've seen before, but now I have an idea of something I want to do with this. So I went and I grabbed it, and this is just like... The little um, little artist things. I don't know if you can see that too. There's my paper. There we go. It doesn't have a background on it, so it's hard to see. And I like the little crayons, and I love this little guitar. It looks like it's just been splashed with paints. So I got that, and I think that is all that I got this time at the Dollar Tree. I don't think there's anything else. That is it. That's all I got. All right. Well, I hope you guys get out and find any, all your goodies at the Dollar Tree that you need this week. Or if you've seen anything here that, you know, you liked, I hope you can go out and find it. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.